Half signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what will be your next major relationship. Okay, so who is it going to be with? What will they be like? And the rough maybe time frame of when that might happen. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed just below the video where the show more section is. So I want to take a look at your next major relationship, not necessarily the next brief romantic encounter that you may have. Okay, definitely a very strong emotional connection, um, a lot of emotional depth. This is someone who has, um, see their heart is open, this is someone who has a lot of love to give. Very loving, very sweet, compassionate, strong water energy. So a possible water sign of someone who has uh, water placements in their natal chart someone who i feel like is very emotionally mature as well as intelligent someone who is looking for an emotional bond an emotional connection um because they feel things so intensely right there's a lot of emotions they're very sensitive and because they're such a like the vessel they're a vessel for depth a vessel for emotion a vessel for love they need to find um an outlet through which they have to express all, all of these emotions. So for um, a lot of you, this is someone who I think is very artistic, very creative, b because due to their emotional intensity, due to their, um, you know, the richness with their emotions, they can be an artist or an aspiring artist of some sort. So like a writer, a painter, someone very creative, someone very artistic. Um, definitely I'm seeing a very strong uh, artistic or creative side, which either is being nurtured with this person or needs to be nurtured okay um, I feel like this person has been through a lot I feel like they've had um, they may not have had a very stable upbringing they may not have had a very um, stable emotional environment and as a result I feel like this is why this person is searching something that they maybe lacked previously in case if they didn't you know have a lot of stability growing up or in their previous relationships this is something that they're currently searching and seeking for um, I'm also seeing there is something here with the past I feel like this person maybe has a hard time um, talking about the past or has a hard time revisiting the past or going back to um, there's quite like a nostalgic energy to them and I'm seeing that they have there's something here I feel like the past has got a bit of a grip or a hold on them in some way so this person is very um, there's a very peaceful energy to them this is someone who I feel like is very quiet they might be very introverted um, very withdrawn Okay, they wear their heart on their sleeve. Their heart is wide open. A lot of love to give. And in the past, they've, um, you know, flown that, directed that love to the wrong, um, to the wrong people. Okay, I feel like you and this individual will have a very strong psychic connection. Um, this is someone who I feel like is very, he or she may be very, uh, a psychic themselves a lot of like strong psychic abilities I'm also seeing that this is someone who I feel like it's almost like you're the same person I feel like this is someone who like they'll finish off the sentences that you start or they'll say the things that you're thinking without you having to say them um, every time you think of this person they will end up texting you or they will end up calling you shortly after I feel like, yeah, this is someone whom you you have or you will share a very strong... I'm seeing it's like a psyche connection. I'm also seeing that you and this person um, are very... Not only are you emotionally connected, but I see that you're also like... Um, there's a lot of telepathy here with the high priestess, so I feel like you're also energetically connected as well. They are a little bit quiet. They are a little bit... They like to keep to themselves. They are a little bit emotionally reserved, okay? Um, it takes a while for this person to warm up. 
and because of that they may come across as a little bit distant or a little bit cold or emotionally detached or aloof that's not the case at all i feel like it's just uh like a protective measure a coping mechanism just to protect their sensitivity uh, their emotions and their fragility they're very they absorb emotions okay especially if there are water sign passes in particular they absorb other people's emotions they absorb other people's moods and as a result result that can be very exhausting that can be very tiring um and this is why i feel like from time to time this person needs to pull away and they just need to you know spend some time on their own just to sort of you know recharge their emotional batteries i do think there's something here from the past there's Either there's a relationship they've had in the past that they regret or something here that I feel like um, they feel guilty. I just feel like it's a bit of a heavy energy, honestly. And I think the past has, yeah, it's still got a bit of a firm grip on this person. I feel like there's something here that they're having trouble with dealing. So there could be, they may have had a, a breakup or a separation, a divorce recent, maybe, maybe not even recently, but I feel like it's been very ongoing. Or there's just something here that they wish they could go back and redo. Um, and whatever it is, they need to make peace with it. Because I can see that this is something that's threatening their peace of mind. This person is extremely attractive. Okay, very attractive. I feel like, you know, mystery is also part of their allure. I feel like, you know, they're not necessarily an open book. This is someone who will keep you on your toes. This is someone who will keep you guessing. But you're going to be very drawn to this person's energy. Okay, right away it's going to be an instant connection, an instant attraction. And you might not even figure out why that is because it's not like they're going to, you know, give themselves um, or give so much of themselves away at first. But I think it's, you know, that whole, that mystery that this person is very much shrouded in or the fact that this person is quite closed off or reserved at first i think that's what's go that's what's going to keep you coming back i'm also seeing that this person is going to be very attracted and very drawn to you and even though they may be naturally shy and reserved and a little bit withdrawn when it comes to you i see them making a very bold and daring move which might be out of character for them but again you know this is someone who's very drawn to you in an explainable um kind of way like a moth to a flame type of attraction okay I, again um yeah i do feel like this is someone very quite nostalgic okay very nostalgic i'm also seeing that this person has they've had a lot of um long existing relationships in their lives okay this person doesn't burn their bridges this is someone who is um they've had the same childhood friends as they've had growing up they've lived in the same home for most of their lives this is someone who i feel like yeah they have um you know, they believe in quality over quantity. I'm also seeing that this could be a past energy for some of you. This is someone whom maybe you've known in the past. Doesn't necessarily mean you had to have had a romantic relationship with this person. Could have been, you know, a professional uh, relationship. It could have been somewhat like a fling that you far flung. It could be someone that you might have only had a very brief um, fleeting encounter with. However, it could have been a past connection that stems from a previous lifetime. If so, then it does feel like with the Six of Cups, a bit of a soulmate um, type of a connection, a bit of a soulmate energy. So, um, And this could be the reason why you guys will feel so intensely drawn and attracted to each other. It's almost like, you know, for as little as you know about them, but it's almost like this person is um, familiar, will be oddly familiar in a very strong and intense type of way. And that could have possibly something to do with the fact that you, you know, you have known or you have loved um, this very person from a previous lifetime, okay? So it's that soul's recognition within each other. Some very childlike, innocent qualities about this person. And I do see, as I've mentioned earlier, a very creative, artistic side to this person. Could be a writer, a painter, a photographer. Um, and if they're not doing so, um, then they definitely need to nurture that creativity, that creative... Um, an artistic streak than I see in this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. They could also have um, a creative background, as in, you know, um, in the creative arts as well, okay? 
they do have there's this childlike innocence about this person i feel like this is someone who always believes um who likes to always give people like the benefit of the doubt and who always likes to believe in the best of people the lovers have the lovers card has come up in reverse and to be honest with you it feels like this perhaps may start off as a bit of a third party situation so it's probably not what a lot of you want to hear right now but um it could for example you might be already attached to someone else while you meet this person or this person might already be attached to someone else as they meet you however the third party doesn't necessarily have to mean an actual you know another person it could just mean either yourself or this person might be holding space for you know that something better or that you know um that whole fantasy of you know what if the grass is green on the other side so um, it could be that it could also be that they may be holding space for the return of an ex or you might be okay or um, it could have something to do with, again, you know, just to sort of blend it in, it, you might be the one that may have been holding space for this person to come back into your life if it is an ex, um, or if it is a form of flame, okay, it could be that, but it does feel like there's a bit of a third, um, like a bit of a triangle, a lovish triangle, maybe this person will place you in a lovish triangle, um, put you in a third party situation, and you might put them in a third party situation, there could be some sort of imbalance, as if, um, as though maybe the past has got such a firm grip on this um, individual that it's hard for them to move uh, forward in a relationship. Yeah, strong emotions. This is your, I mean, you haven't felt an intense connection like this before, okay? And I don't know if you will feel again. It feels intense. It feels overwhelming, um, especially for you guys, because I feel like it's, yeah, it just feels like it's kind of new and foreign in many ways. Um, because of this emotional intensity okay this is someone who's going to love you like i feel like you've not been loved before but they've got a lot of love to give there's a lot of richness in the emotions as you can tell okay so if this person doesn't find an outlet a healthy outlet for their emotions it can turn inwards and it can go the other way it can manifest itself into physical and emotional pain very sweet very caring very uh gentle um very compassionate very giving almost too giving of themselves uh two of pentacles yeah i do think this is uh someone whom i feel like it's someone it is someone whom you've crossed paths with before or it is someone whom you're going to cross paths with again okay and again i'm getting that there is a choice that needs to be made when it comes to this individual or you know a third party or a lover's triangle um you might potentially have to decide between someone that you're dating and this very person um, or this person might have to decide between yourself and someone that they're seeing You might meet them at some sort of social gathering, okay? You could potentially meet this person at a social gathering of some sort. It could be a work function. It could also be um, you're invited to some sort of... Um, it feels like you have some sort of connection, like you have a reason for being there. So it doesn't feel like it's happenstance. It just feels like maybe you're invited to some sort of family or social gathering of some sort that this person also happens to... Um, have been invited to as well okay it just feels like you might also have mutual friends um, or it could be like a workplace function it just feels like this you've got something in common with this person or you know the same type of people or it's like in the same circle if that makes sense it, yeah it feels like a, some sort of social gathering of some sort Maybe that's where you've met them or that's where you might potentially meet them. But it could also, you potentially could also meet this person at a place that feels very familiar to you. So for example, at your favorite cafe, um, local cafe or your favorite restaurant or, you know, somewhere that you dine, dine in very frequently or someone that, somewhere that you frequent very often, like a theater, a museum, um, you know, your local park. This person has... Um, yeah, they have a way, they like to stick to the tried and like tested, okay? They have a way of, you know, what works for them, they stick to what works for them, okay? This isn't someone who, I don't see, like, they don't like change a lot is what I'm trying to say. This is why they've, you know, had the same childhood friends. This is why they've lived in the same house or, you know, had the same job or career going. This person doesn't do very well with change. And I think recently they've had a lot of change in their life. And this is something that I feel like they've been somewhat struggling with. When is it that you might likely meet this person? For some of you, you've already, this, you've already met this individual. And I think that... Um, you know, you're already 
facing a choice between this person and someone else that you might be romantically involved with. I say that because with the lover's card in reverse, when it comes up in reverse, the universe is asking you to pay extra attention to a decision that you probably should be making, but you've been avoiding or you've been putting off. So this is why I feel like for a lot of you, you've already met this choice. You've already met this person, sorry. It's just that you have to end up choosing, right? Um, for others, I feel like this will be um, more of a slow burning. Uh, sorry, this will... Um, it might happen during either the summer or the spring, depending on what part of the world you're in right now. Um, but I do feel like it's more of a like a slower moving connection. Okay, so a very slower moving energy. This person isn't in a rush, so you're gonna have to be patient with you know the whole process. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.